guys, this one is really important, this next one. What to do if your best friend is becoming close friends with people that talk as they try to about you and she's aware. Love your vids, thanks so much. Okay, this topic is close to home because a little context, I was in the wrong group of people um, a few years ago and I was insecure and I lacked confidence in myself which led me to SHIT talking people. So if your friend is hanging out with people that are SHIT talking you, she's 100% SHIT talking you as well. Without a doubt, because a real friend, a genuine, secure friend, wouldn't hang out with people that are doing you wrong ever under any circumstance. So I think that the least dramatic thing you can do and the thing that would cause the least amount of drama, which is the goal, um, is just try to distance yourself slowly if you are in a situation to do that. But yeah, just remove yourself from that kind of friendship because I was that person and but guys, don't worry, I'm working on myself and I'm working on never being that person again but this is like why I'm saying this because I know this story so well anyways, that sucks and I'm sorry that you're going through that and I hope that you can figure out how to kind of back off from that situation and learn how to not let the stuff that people are saying get in your head and like mess you up so thank you for sharing that okay <laughs> when i was young my friends forced me to go talk to my crush mind you it was raining when i went to talk to him i slipped and hit my head on the ground in front of my crush and i still feel embarrassed till today guys i feel like there's nothing more embarrassing than slipping and falling on your ass I would cry. I think I would actually cry. <laughs> like, I would not know how to recover from that situation at all. So, I mean, this happened in the past, so just get over it. But, like, <laughs> I would definitely cry if that happened. Um, any tips for by the way, you're so pretty. Thank you. Um, okay, guys, this is another big one. In terms of confidence, I feel like having confidence means trusting yourself. And this is what I mean. I saw a TikTok about this that really stuck with me. But as an example, if someone comes up to you and is like, you have blonde hair, but your hair is very clearly brown and you know your hair is brown you're gonna look at this person like what the heck are you talking about like my hair is brown it's not blonde so the same thing can be applied as if someone comes up to you and says you're so ugly or just something negative like you're so annoying but you know that you are beautiful and you know that you're not annoying then that comment's not gonna get you you're gonna look at them like this I know I'm not ugly, or I know I'm not annoying, or I know I'm smart, stuff like that. So, but the, the difficulty is how can you get yourself to that point where you genuinely believe that you are beautiful, and you are smart, and you are worthy, and all that kind of stuff. And I think, again, I saw this in a TikTok, but guys, it's a really good, like, concept. Um, you have to trust yourself trust the things that you say and trust the things that you believe and the way that you can work on trusting yourself is keeping your word with yourself so for example if if you're like okay i'm gonna start going to the gym every day you go to the gym every day or i'm gonna start waking up every day at 7 30 like no matter how tired i am you wake up every day at 7 30 because you're proving to yourself that you the things that you said like that you set for yourself or the things you want to do you will do you're not just gonna say you're gonna do it and then you don't do it like you actually do those things so um, in terms of, okay tips for confidence that was kind of long but like to, to summon it up um 
summon it up <gasps> to sum it up you can just tell yourself that whatever you're struggling with if whatever it may be you can just affirm do some affirmations and say i am beautiful i am loved i am smart i am deserving i am worthy of love stuff like that and keep telling yourself that and the more and more you tell yourself that the more you will actually believe that and that can also go the other way where if you keep telling yourself negative things you're gonna believe those negative things so that's why it's important to be kind to yourself and to love yourself and to accept yourself and to embrace yourself and to embrace anything that may not be perfect so yeah but but like it that's definitely something that's difficult for people and it's difficult for me and I'm working on that kind of stuff but the more you can trust yourself and the more you tell yourself affirmations the more you'll believe it and then the more it will become your reality okay so those are my tips on confidence um okay there's this girl in my class that I sit next to we talk and text every day. I want to ask her out, but don't know how. Ah, that is so cute. Okay. Um, guys, I need more contacts because this, it depends. Like, are you catching a vibe for, I feel like if you're talking and texting every day, then chances are that the feeling is likely mutual. But I feel like it's important to read people the best of your abilities and try to figure out where they're at and if, if this person like if she seems like she's genuinely interested in you you could what is it like how can you you can okay you can if you're kind of shy like i'm kind of shy i'd rather text than call or talk in person so you could text her and be like I just want to let you know that I have feelings for you and I think you're fun to be around and I admire you and I was wondering if I could take you to this, if I could take you to coffee, if I could take you to lunch, if I could take you to your favorite store, if you guys share a common interest, like if you guys both like sports, like if I could take you to this game on Sunday or whatever. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, really cute. I don't know. Just say something like that. You know, it depends what kind of person you are. Like I said, if you're more extroverted and you find it easy to like talk to people in person or on the phone, you could do it that way. Um, oh, let me just say this. Let me just put this out there. If you have a girl in your life, I don't care if she's your new girlfriend, if you guys are married, if you guys have been dating for 10 years, every single girl likes flowers, like, I have yet to meet a girl who's like, I hate flowers, like, don't get me flowers, even if she doesn't ask for flowers, get her flowers, and let me give you a little tutorial on how to get your girl some flowers, okay, ready, listen, okay, turn the volume up, so, you take $10, flowers. You can, like, you can get her one rose for, like, a dollar. You can get her a bouquet for 50. Whatever your budget is, you can do it. You take your, and you go to a grocery store, a drugstore, a convenience store, anywhere. You walk into the store, you find some flowers that are pretty, that are maybe your favorite color. You pick them up. You go to the checkout. You pay for said flowers. You take the flowers, you walk to your girl, you drive to your girl, you whatever, and you give her the flowers. And there doesn't have to be a reason to get your girl flowers. It can just be, here's flowers just because. And if you have no money, guys, why is my eyelash like? Okay, if you have no money, this is how you do it. You go outside, you go on a little walk, okay? You look in the grass and in some gardens and then you can make her a little bouquet you can collect like dandelions and tie it together with a string of grass and give it to her and she'll love it so I don't want to hear any excuses on why some of you are not able to cut your girlfriend flowers okay I love you all but you need to get your act together that's my little rant <laughs> okay so 